guys! So, um, we are here today to talk about Belle's music and Rumpelstiltskin's music from Once Upon a Time. Um, these have been both requested several times. They are obviously quite popular characters on their own merit and also together as a couple. And uh, I figured I'd go ahead and combine doing a theme presentation for both of them, uh, mainly because, oddly enough, they don't have a ton of music that is theirs as a couple. We don't really have exactly a Rembel theme. Uh, we use mixes of both of their music depending uh, on the scene, and then there's also the uh, Rumpelstiltskin and Love Cue, which I will play. Um, which which is the closest thing I think they have to a theme, but it's really uh, compared to many of the other couples that we have um, It's really not uh, We don't have nearly as much sort of couple music for them. So anyway, so let's go ahead and jump into the music So we've got a few different selections here today and I'm gonna go ahead and start with Belle um, Just because I think we actually have a bit more for her. Her music is a little bit more her themes are a little bit more drawn out and um yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start with her. So here is, uh, I've, I've, I think it might actually be the first like full iteration of Bella's theme where it like, goes into detail uh, in episode 112, which is our introduction to her character. Anyway, so that is a full iteration of Bella's theme. I remember um, around this time in, in season one, Mark was really excited about this theme. It's one of his favorite ones, I think. Um, it's definitely uh, more musically complex, I think, than it than it sounds initially. It's very sort of pleasant, but it's really got a lot going on. Um, all right, so we also have a sort of a sadder version of that theme that gets used quite a bit. Uh, and so here is that.
All right, so that is a, sort of a sadder version just to show how malleable that theme is. And then I also have just, again, a little bit of a taste of how this theme can be used in multiple ways. Um, a little bit of action music um, that is also derived from Bella's theme. <laughs> So that essentially wraps up Belle's music, uh, although we'll move into Rumble in Love, which originally was a derivation of Belle's theme. It's kind of taken on a life of its own um, and now gets used in, and varied throughout uh, various scenes, but um, it, it really was originally uh, Belle's music, kind of um, a twist on Belle's music. And another piece of trivia about this is that the amazing Cindy O'Connor, who also works on the show and has been involved in producing the music for the show and arranging and orchestrating and various other things for this, uh, for once upon a time since the pilot. So this is her voice and um, a really, really beautiful piece of music. So that is uh, really the closest thing we have to a Rumpel and Bell theme, I guess, um, which I think is very fitting given the tumultuous nature of their relationship. Um, so we've got a couple of other pieces here. Um, actually, you know what? I just realized I hadn't actually put this in here, but I absolutely should, and that is the piece from Rumpel and Bell's Wedding. Um, so if you give me just one second, I'm going to redirect the camera and I'll go ahead and play that one as well because that one's so gorgeous. So one second, let me pull that one up.
Sorry, I usually try to keep these guys, uh, get this all organized before we start, but I can't believe that I almost forgot to play that one just because it's, it's such a beautiful piece of music that Mark did. And it's not really, I mean, it's definitely unique, really, from, from most of the other pieces uh, in the show, but, <clears throat> you know, it's, it is sort of the, the peak for them. So here we go. So there's that, one of uh, Mark's most beautiful pieces for the show, in my opinion. Um, so moving on from uh, Bell and Rumble together, we also have just a couple little snippets here for Rumpelstiltskin alone. Um, we obviously we have music for his character all over the place, both the uh, both in Enchanted Forest and in Storybrooke. Um, but he really has one main little motif, and this is that. Um, 
Um, so that little theme that you heard there is Rumble's theme, and it is just about everywhere, <laughs> uh, all over the show. Um, here's a little variation of it that I quite liked from season three, and it is when um, Zelina had captured Rumpel and he was like in her little weird cellar thing. Uh, and so there was just sort of a creepy version of it that was used very briefly in those scenes, and I absolutely loved it. So uh, here is that. <laughs> Um, just to show a little flavor of how it can be used in different ways. Uh, and then finally to wrap this up, there is the good version of Rumpelstiltskin's music that is generally used in flashbacks um, back to his days with Balefire and before becoming the Dark One. And so this is the good version of the Rumpelstiltskin theme. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Um, that covers Bell and Rumple for the most part. Um, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to get to another one soon. I've had requests for Zelina, which is awesome. I love her music. Um, also, I just recalled Balefire actually had some really awesome themes. Um, so playing back that last little piece of Rumpelstiltskin music reminded me of that. So maybe I'll visit him soon too. Um, all right, cool. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and see you next time.